Hey guys, I, uh, in the middle of something I thought you might find interesting, this car looks a little different than what I'm usually in. This is not a Bolt. This is a uh, Suburban, a 2019 Suburban, uh, no less. And that right there is an Eon running open pilot. And that is my, uh, that is my mom driving. She is not familiar with open pilot, so. <laughs> But uh, here we are, navigating a curve, no problem, I think, yeah? You didn't have to touch the wheel, did you? She shook her head no, just so you know. So, um, Steve Back was very gracious to bring his Suburban up here to, to Michigan. He drove quite a distance to get it here. Um, because I've been working with a couple guys. I've been working with someone on a Tahoe and a Silverado and a Suburban. We got the Silverado going, but the Tahoe and the Suburban have a configuration that is new. Um, normally, uh, previously, before any um, anything that I messed around with, the cars that were supported by Open Pilot have this thing called an active safety control module, ASCM, I think I said that right. Um, there is a front-facing camera and then a radar module that both send data to this ASCM that's in the back of the car usually, and it normally would do all the work and then send the steering and brake and gas commands. So the Silverado that we got working... Um, has a what they call vision only adaptive cruise where the camera handles the adaptive cruise here we are turning again it's always always fun to watch this i'm gonna say the tune is not that bad honestly um the only adjustment i really needed to make was an actuator delayed modification for the steering wheel and now it's holding up quite well anyway um yeah we just got it I had it working I want to say two days ago something like that three days ago but uh yesterday I was able to knock out all of these these issues to the point that there isn't a lot left before I can give this car back Not sure why it said that. Anyway. Okay, sorry about that. The uh, If you have lane keep assist turned on, uh, since we do act have the camera for the most part attached, um, it will start harassing you about touching the steering wheel. So we had to turn that off. Anyway, what is special about this Suburban and the Tahoe is... Um, they they don't have camera based adaptive cruise nor uh, they do have radar based adaptive cruise but it does not have an ASCM so the radar module in the front of the car is a self contained unit it doesn't send radar points it doesn't send any of the data it just sends gas and brake commands which is a totally new thing for open pilot to handle and getting it to work right, it's been a struggle. The beautiful thing about this is the Suburban and the Tahoe and I want to say the Escalade or maybe the Equinox, I'm not sure, but they all share the same platform. And we're talking from 2016 to 2019, uh, some, some percentage of them come with this configuration. And this configuration is, um, it's comma compatible. We are not disabling any of the safety features. The, the automatic emergency braking and everything is being passed through. Um, it is using the vehicle's stock adaptive cruise, which if you look at the supported car list in open pilot, about half of them are using stock anyway. 
GM didn't used to, but it's going to now. Or it, it, it will for cars like this. It's worth being excited about if you have a big GM car. Um, because there is very little that will be keeping us from getting this upstreamed. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned before that Kama is interested. They were interested in the Silverado. Well, we're going to be able to give them three. They're going to get a Silverado and, what is this, a Suburban and a Tahoe. Um, and, yeah. And I suspect I will be able to get it upstreamed. I'm pretty confident. I'm, you know, I'd say 75 or greater percent sure. Uh, I'm 90% sure that it can be upstreamed. It's just whether I can do it and whether it happens in any particular period of time. The point is, uh, this meets all of Kama's criteria. In fact, if we were able to set up the new type of fingerprinting, fingerprinting 2.0, uh, it could even move out of the community supported list at the bottom up to the top, possibly. Uh, possibly not because one of the criteria is that a, uh, a comma staff member own a vehicle, but um, so we still have a few little things to work out, like uh, well, here, let me show you. Okay, there's too much glare, it's not really going to be easy to show you, but um. On the Panda, I've disabled all of the places where it turns off controls. Uh, all but one of them, only the brake is still enabled. Um, however, on the open pilot side, I believe I've got all the goofy workarounds gone. So right now, the Panda is the only thing that needs to be, uh, we have to figure out why it's sort of crashing. I turned off also all of the um, safety limit enforcement for the steering torque, which amazing, amazing how, uh, how much happier it is. Really, I think the best part about this is that um, you may have, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you've seen some of the videos when I was first getting it working, where, you know, you kind of you get your nerves get raw because you're like oh it's getting close is it gonna handle it is it gonna handle it whereas I am willing to just not touch the wheel my mother's having a little bit of difficulty with that one. <laughs> oh, here we go here we go beautiful yes all right well um, I feel like I'm rambling now, so maybe it's time to cut this one off. Uh, huge thank you to Steve Back, if that's what his name is, S. Back. Huge thank you for bringing this, this car up here. It saved a lot of time. Um, I had been working remotely, and I was happy to do that, but I, the progress I made yesterday would have taken at least a month if I was remotely working on a car, so... This has been a huge, huge help, uh, actually having the vehicle in my presence. Now, you can't see it probably, but this is a black Suburban. Um, apparently it's got the, what do you say, FBI setup or something? Uh, yeah, so I, I came out and I, I, I had a double take moment um, when I saw this, you know, black SUV. I was looking in the sky to see if there were any black helicopters or anything. Um, also, uh, thanks to uh, well, uh, everybody who's helping me uh, debug and do testing. Um, we couldn't port these cars without the assistance of, of people who are willing to volunteer their time. So I am super grateful to them. Super grateful to you. Yeah, super grateful to you guys for watching. Um, double super thanks to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are making this possible. If you like this stuff and you want to see more, um, 
maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Patreon.com slash Standback Labs. Think about it. You know, if not, you don't have to. Uh, also, if you like the video, you can give a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. You can do that subscribe or hit the bell thing. I don't know. Everybody's always talking about it. Probably makes it easier for you to see more videos when I post them. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.